Celebrity chef Jada De Laurentiis has become a household name, so it's no surprise that fans are also interested in her life outside of the kitchen. After her shocking split from her husband Todd in 2014, it looks like love is in the air once again with boyfriend Shane Farley. Jada has been in a relationship with 48-year-old Shane Farley since 2015. While the couple had been somewhat tight-lipped about their status in the beginning, Jada has since opened up about what it was like to move on from her first marriage. In 2018, she revealed to People magazine, I didn't know what it meant to not be married. Once I got settled, Shane and I reconnected and I felt like a kid again. Since then, the couple has been spotted vacationing together, sharing holidays, and hanging out with family, including Jada's 12-year-old daughter, Jade. The couple even worked together on the newest season of Jada at Home. Shane Farley is a well-known figure in the world of daytime talk shows. A successful TV producer, he's been in the business for more than 20 years and has worked closely with several celebrity hosts, not to mention hundreds of A-list guests. One of his claims to fame actually involves working with another celebrity chef, Rachel Ray. Shane was a supervising producer on her self-titled daytime talk series for six years. During that time, Shane won two Emmys and was nominated for three more with the show before ultimately leaving in 2011. Then, in 2017, Shane was tapped to executive produce Steve Harvey's syndicated talk show, Steve, which ran through the summer of 2019. Three, two, you're on. Most recently, Shane has been producing Jada's latest Food Network project, Jada at Home 2.0. The show features Jada, often with appearances by daughter Jade, whipping up family-friendly recipes while hunkering down at home during the COVID-19 pandemic. Shane told Dream Jobbing that he knew he wanted to be a TV producer from the time he was a kid, but he didn't exactly have a clear path set out for him. Shane grew up in New Jersey and didn't have any connections in the TV industry to help him get started. His mom was a teacher and his dad once served as the town mayor. Regardless, Shane says he knew what he wanted to do, so he applied to various positions, really put himself out there, and eventually, it paid off. He managed to land a job working on the Joan Rivers show right out of high school, and his career continued to grow from there. I think it's just, you, when you want something, you'll, you'll just, you'll figure out a way. To this day, when he's asked about how he got to where he is in his career, Shane talks about the importance of taking risks and initiative to get noticed. And it seems like that attitude has certainly paid off. In an interview with Dream Jobber, Shane revealed that he was actually inspired to pursue the world of television after watching late-night TV icons like Johnny Carson and David Letterman. He says he would stay up late watching episodes of The Tonight Show and The Late Show on a black-and-white TV in his bedroom growing up. All right, thank you. That's it. That's it. Stop it. Stop it right there. Shane recalls watching a particular episode of The Late Show with David Letterman that still resonates with him. On the episode, Letterman calls out to his executive producer, Robert Morton, while the cameras are still rolling. Shane says it was his first glimpse of what and who is actually behind the shows we see on TV, and he knew from that point on that he wanted a job in production. As fate would have it, Shane says he actually got the chance to interview for a job with Letterman's producer, Morton, early on in his career. He not only ended up getting the job, but Shane says he and Morton are still friends to this day. Shane's road to success has not been without its ups and downs. While he's known for his work leading big-budget syndications, many people might not know that he once created his own talk show after founding his production company, Cypress E Productions. While working for VH1 in 2013, Shane launched a pop culture roundtable called The Gossip Table. The show ran for two years, becoming a regular weekday program on the network. But the show was ultimately canceled in 2015 as VH1 struggled to improve ratings amid the cable network decline. That's The Gossip Table. Thank you, everybody! Despite the ups and downs of the showbiz industry, Shane has said the best parts of his job include learning a variety of things about the world and all the new people he gets to meet, including his current leading lady, of course. Shane and Jada first met in 2013 through professional channels when he was hired to produce a show with Jada and her good friend and fellow Food Network host Bobby Flay. While it turns out that show did not have a future, Shane and Jada sure did. But a romance didn't blossom right off the bat. At the time of the project, both Jada and Shane were married to other people. What you got there? Flowers. <laughs> Some gelato. Chocolate, I hope. Of course. Mwah. After Jada and her then-husband, fashion designer Todd Thompson, split in 2014, People magazine reported the chef took some time for herself to, quote, rest and reset. 
Eventually, she reconnected with Shane in 2015, and the two have been together ever since. Jada was very much divorced when she admitted to dating Shane Farley in late 2015, but he was still technically married at the time. As it turns out, Shane was in the process of splitting from his wife of 15 years, personal trainer Jennifer Jamo, when the media first started reporting on his relationship with Jada. Adding to the drama, it's even been alleged that Jamo first learned of the relationship between Shane and Jada after reading about it in the tabloids. At the time, a rep for Jada told Page Six that she and Shane started dating that August, several months after Shane and his ex had filed their divorce papers in March. But the timing of it all still raised eyebrows and fueled tabloid rumors that they had been having an affair. Jamo reportedly wanted to try and take Jada to court over the issue, but a legal battle never ensued. A lot of what we know about Shane Farley comes from his professional record and media reports. The producer himself seems to be pretty low-key on social media, especially in recent years. Shane's Instagram account is private, and while his Twitter account is public, it appears he hasn't used the platform in more than two years. Meanwhile, Shane has been spotted several times on Jada's social media accounts, including an August 2020 Instagram post promoting the season finale of Jada at Home 2.0, which Shane helps Jada produce from her home. Welcome to my sort of self shot show, since Shane over there is actually the one shooting it. <laughs> it certainly looks like the duo makes a great team both on and off the set. Whether they are helping Jada shoot an at-home cooking video for her show, enjoying vacation with family, or just hanging out at home, it's clear that Shane has a good relationship with Jada's daughter, Jade. He spoke about their special bond in 2018, telling People magazine, I really enjoy hanging out with her. Jade has got two amazing parents, so I can be a part of her life without any pressure. Jade's dad is still very much in the picture, and he's been spotted in some of Jada's Instagram posts celebrating big moments in their daughter's life. Jada also confirmed to the outlet that she and her ex-husband continue to get along after their divorce, saying, We're supportive of each other and, in turn, supportive of Jade. Shane himself is half Italian, and unsurprisingly, he and Jada both share a deeply ingrained love of Italian food. She may be the trained chef, but that doesn't stop Shane from taking charge in the kitchen sometimes, too. Jada told Today that Shane likes to cook for her on special occasions, like Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, even if he may be a little intimidated by his audience. And according to Jada, he needs ample time to prepare. As she told People, he has to plan. It's like a week-long planning session if he's going to cook for me. We certainly don't blame him for the nerves. Cooking dinner for a professional chef has got to be nerve-wracking. Jada admits that she'll give him a few pointers in the kitchen, but Shane also admits he's here for those helpful tips. He told the outlet, She's not trying to show that she knows more than me or she's teaching me. She's really rooting for me. When Jada's the one doing the cooking, she says one of his favorite dishes is her short rib lasagna. After five years together, many fans are wondering if Jada and Shane will ever tie the knot. For the record, Jada has reportedly claimed she isn't ruling out getting married again. When she was asked about it, she told Us Weekly, You never know in this life. I'm never going to say never. There are rumors, however, that she's already turned down one proposal from Shane. Reports started circulating at the end of 2018 that he had, in fact, popped the question, and Jada declined. According to sources at the time, Jada wanted to stay focused on her daughter and her career. Only time will tell if there will ever be wedding bells in the future for this couple, but we're willing to bet many of her fans would be thrilled to see Jada say, I do again. We're already picturing a Tuscan hillside wedding and a reception that's positively overflowing with wine and delicious pasta. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite topics are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.